I guess I'll let I guess I'll let this child's mother know where 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 he is. I guess. Oh yeah, not a bad idea. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I guess she's not in the mood to go tromping all over the theme park for, for her for her child. Well, I'll just uh, keep that in the back of my mind for now, I suppose. Oh. And it's been a while since you've done that. I was beginning to wonder if we would get through the whole level without it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my worries have been eased. <laughs> Fungus seems a lot more articulate than he used to be. Well, you know, he's a showman. He has to be. Mm hmm. All right. Well, let's see what the show is. Is are you, are you excited? Where? Where's our? Uh, where's our seats? I see. for the incredible Mr. Patch. Yes, I'm ready. He's so big. Okay, well, shooting him doesn't seem to do much. Or maybe I fly up and shoot him. No, you have the right idea. You're just not hitting him. Yeah. Well, I, do I have to hit the patches? His name is Mr. Patch. Yes. Okay, well, I'm way too far now. There you go. All right, go get him, Margaret. Oh, hello. You, sh you should, yeah. But did you not believe, Mr. Fresh? I just didn't expect those to just uh, show up from anywhere. So Mr. Patch is kind of infamous. A lot of people oh. uh, hate him. You know, I think oh. I understand. No, I always thought he was fun. Why is there a beach ball? He's spitting that at you. Okay. Yeah. I don't dislike Mr. Patch, but he is very finicky. Yeah, no, he definitely is. I definitely don't hate him though. I, I thought he I thought he was neat. I just need some distance from him right now. Yay! 
Yeah, I can't say I enjoy this fight very much. <laughs> Doing okay. You're almost halfway done. Yeah! Oh, I need to land and get some more grenades. Ugh. You're doing fine. I'm glad that touching Mr. Patches doesn't hurt. Yeah, you can crash him as much as you like. I mean, makes sense. He's a big rubber yeah. inflatable thing. Well, not so big anymore, but, you know, details. A lot smaller than he was, for sure. Oh yeah, he has gotten a lot smaller. It's a lot harder to tell from, uh, up there. I mean, you did pop, like, eight of his twelve patches. This yeah. is true. I'll take the honeycomb, I kinda need one. Oh yeah! I was wondering, wondering what that was! You can just shoot the beach balls, you know. I was about to ask that. Almost. Okay, I think there's one more right there. Yep. Where's the last one? Oh, right there. His nose, yeah. Yeah, you got him! I will gladly take that. Okay, what's next? Missing a Jinjo. Doing I know where the last well. two note nests are. Two Jiggies and, and two pages. Well, presumably you have one Jiggy from bringing all the children back, which we can't do yet. Oh, that's true. The answer to the last child isn't like bring the van over so he can uh no, get to ride. Okay. It is not. It is not. Far too easy. Okay, you well still, at this point you need to go to area fifty one and you need to You need to do the Saul Serve Peril are the last two yeah. things on our list. Yeah. All right, I suppose then we'll head up the saucer because I can't. I don't think I see a way into Area 51. I mean, have you tried blowing down the front door? I thought I did, but. I guess maybe I didn't. I do not remember you trying to blow up the front door, no. Uh, we went up here. There was a Jinjo up here, I think. That's yeah. right. Okay, I think I... I think I understand how to get up here. I gotta take the, uh... The cable car... And then make my way... From the top of the... Star Spinner, right? Yeah, that looks seems right. Like a, that seems like a sensible option. Yeah! I'm going to suggest we go to Area 51 first. Uh, 
okay. Good point, artist. Forgot about that. This way, yeah. Yes. These these guys look a lot like the uh the uh little toy aliens from uh, Toy Story. They really do, don't they? I mean, that was probably intentional. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, there's a mumbo thing. I knew it! And, and a car. Alright. Well, let's know what we need to do. Ooh, shock jump bat. This'll guess the notes. Yeah! One and oh, I guess. Do be careful. You are looking at one thousand jiggy watt fences there. Definitely. Why did I think it was ten thousand jiggy watts? Because that's what it is in Back to the Future, isn't it? I think. No. I legitimately forget. I want to say the number in Back to the Future was a lot more specific. the saucer of peril first. This is the power source for the saucer of peril? Well, it is area 51. Why is it all the way over here? It's also alien themed. I guess so. Plus, I think, uh, my level of geography might be a little off, but isn't this, like, just on the other side of the space- of the space zone? Yeah, it is. Yeah, so, it's, it's not so far away. Uh, okay, fine. Uh, you know what, I'll do the Jinjo on the way out. Alright. Nah, you, you want Western World. Because you have to because you have to take the uh, cable car. Right. Oh right, yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Oh, uh, I, I forgot. I, I guess uh, Humbas would have been closer. It's okay. I mean, that's not like super far anyway. No, nah, it's not. No, it's it's hard to believe, but despite what you may have been told about Banjo Tooie, these levels are not in fact actually that big. Witchy World especially doesn't feel that big. Like, it's got a lot of little compartments, but it doesn't seem to cover a lot of area. I don't know. What I want to know is how the platform you are, you are riding on changes from wood to metal while you're riding it. That's a really good trick. Yeah, it is. All right, good jump, good jump. Ah! 
Ah, okay. That helps. And now, yeah, it does. Ooh, a button. And this will go back to, uh, the mines. Aha! Oh yes, remember that mysterious box we left back there? Well, he got yeah. back to work. He sure got back to work quickly after being trapped in the mines. <laughs> now, uh, Argate, would you like an explanation of the rules? Uh... I think I got it. Oh, this is one that has different prizes. Okay. Oh, it's on rails. Well, at least it's a, it gives you the, the rapid-fire eggs, too, which is nice. Plus, I don't know, I think this, this thing's pretty fun. This one is very hard, like, comparatively. I think it's fun, though. The others. I yeah, think it's fun. no, 500 is a lot. Yeah, you gotta really go for those blue ones. Did you know the blue ones are worth three points? Wait, that's how much they're worth? Yeah, strange, huh? Well, I like the Saucer of Peril. I think it is fun. Oh, it's a fun little game. It's just... Mm -hmm. It gets real fucking old real fucking fast when you finish it with 489 points. Oh yes, agreed. For sure. Let me guess, Jiggy for uh, 400, uh, page for 500? One of those yes? things is true, they might be reversed, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, that might be flipped, but, either, but those are the two prizes, yes. Yes. If you score enough to get the highest prize, do you automatically get the other one? Yes. Good. Okay, that's good. Okay, that's that. That's a rude place for uh, fifteen points. You did hit one of them. Keep firing, Yargate, okay, you got this. Maybe. I'm going to vote that if we don't get this on the first try, that we do not continue to do this. Yeah, no, I don't want to... I don't particularly want to do this more than, like, once on camera. Like, I'll probably do it off camera, just on my own time yeah. or something. Because... I would accept that. This... Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is, I can see this being kind of obnoxious to me multiple times. I mean, it's I, not so bad when you're doing it, but boy, that, that's the egg sound effect. <laughs> we're, we're doing okay, but this is the, this is the last leg of the, of the thing, and we still need a hundred points. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna manage that. Again? Nope. Didn't get any of those, so oh boy. Ooh, you're gonna be real close. Oh, are you oh Son of a oh, bitch. You gotta be kidding me. Son oh. of a bitch. Wow. Oh yep. boy. That sounds like the saucer of peril to me.
I'll be back on my own time. Yeah. Sounds good. Um. So that's one Jiggy for the Salsa Feral, one to rescuing the children, uh, one Jinjo, and one Cheeto Page, then, I guess. Okay, well, I know we're the last, uh. We can go pick up the Jinjo whenever. Mm -hmm. the oh, yeah, it's behind the thing. I got nothing. Oh, uh, the last page is in the Haunted Cavern. Okay. I'll go pick up the... Ch the... the Jinjo. I have to come back w f later for something to do... or to... to pick up that child, don't I? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Alright, we'll go do this, ch head back to the Haunted Cave. And I think that's it for Witchy World. Mm-hmm. You're starting to pick up on what the game's putting down as far as what you can and cannot do. Yeah. We're getting it. Like, I mean, you would have gone to the child with the van and the van wouldn't have worked. And then it would have been like, all right, well, I guess I got to do this later. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that our new powers can enable us to do. Um... I guess there was that bit from, uh, the, the World 5 from the World 1 access? You do not want to go in that. Okay. Uh. I don't think you'd be able to leave anyway, even if you could, even if you tried, but either way, we, we do not want anything to do with World 5 right now. Okay. We'll get there when we get there. Hmm. Agreed. Hmm. The only thing I can think of that I didn't do was shoot at the lights? I think those are just meant to be a light source. Yeah. Very windy, toothy path. Hmm. All right, we take a look around, see if there's something we could like jump on top of or something. I don't know. Is it out here on the path, or was it in the uh, exhibits? No, it's out here. Okay. Sir, so, is that a? Ledge you can grab onto over there on that, uh. Yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and I think that's everything for now? Yeah. That looks good to me. Enough damage here for now. Alright, into the pit with you, Banjo. Cast yourself into the void. 